here a couple were. Ladies first. Ladies first? Okay. Ladies first. Um, anywhere. Okay, let's keep some more. Just oh. anywhere. Like, they can be like, cat, uh, cucumber, anything. Uh, uh, dog noodles. Yeah, <laughs> dog noodles. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Don't listen to him. He's got a great dog noodles. Street food. Street food. Street food. Yeah, I can, uh, I can, I can do street food. Um, so, this story is, is one of my, I guess, kind of, street food reminds me of, um, kind of outdoor summery stuff. And, um, you know, just kind of hot and everything just outside and whatnot and, and buying food. And I remember um, I toured my, the first college I was at, I toured the campus there. And um, on the open students, like the open house day, the students day, um, they had like a bunch of food car vendors and all everybody in the town came out to like, oh, welcome to uh, the school. It's the Stetson University. Anyway, uh, sadly I was only there for 11 days. Because uh, I got kicked out because I had 500 milligrams of yellow cake uranium oxide, um, commonly known as yellow cake. Um, so uh, it happened because I was um, very popular with women at the time. Uh, this is the first time that women had actually started liking me, so I was really excited about that. I didn't know what to do, so there was these multiple girls, and we all kind of got involved. And some of them got hurt, so they wanted to get revenge on me. So. They um, they told campus security that I had this substance, 500 milligrams of uranium oxide, which is harmless. Um, anyway, campus security comes and searches my room. Uh, they take me to the campus security building and they quarantine the building. So all the admission staff that had contact with me, um, uh, everybody like that was involved in the event, uh, was quarantined in this building, and the bomb squad came and sealed off the building, the fire department came and sealed off the building, ambulances were there, and nobody could make a move until HAZMAT, the hazardous materials team, arrived to dispose of the nuclear substance. Um, but then, one guy, I'm, I'm in the conference room in this, in this campus security building, it's quarantined, there's all these lights and sirens, and then one guy gets in the police barricade, and it's a Domino's pizza delivery man. And he comes <laughs> up to the building, delivers pizza, walks back through the barricade, and then just, and Bomb Squad's not even allowed to come in yet, but anyway, Hazmat eventually arrives, they clear the building, FBI arrests me, they take me to uh, an interrogation room. Um, they think I'm a terrorist, so we go at it for a couple hours. Um, I don't tell them anything, because I keep my mouth shut. Um, and then I go back and they kick me out of school all in one day. True story. Honey, I have to do this. A man needs pizza. What? <laughs> they have police barricades. They say there may be a bomb. I'm a hero. And this needs to happen. If I don't get that pizza to that man, I don't just sully the Domino's name, the good name of Domino's Pizza, but everything that this pie stands for. Honey, oh honey, I, I've been meaning to tell you this. I am pregnant. Do, do it. Stay here for your child, your unborn child. I, I have a duty. Hold. You have a duty to me to take care of our, of our little. Welcome to Domino's Boot Camp. <laughs> Boys, come on in. I want you to know that here at Domino's Boot Camp, we're going to teach you how to deliver pizza through the most deadly of battlefields. Look, I, I worked at Papa John's. I know what's going on. <laughs> Papa John's? What is this? It's better ingredients, better pizza. <laughs> But you know what? Does Papa John's deliver to war zones? I don't know, they probably don't set up shops in war zones. <laughs> that sounds like After we killed match. Osama Bin Laden, we airlifted a Domino's pizza to those boys so they could snack before they got on the helicopters home. I, I heard Pizza Hut killed Osama Bin Laden. <laughs> Good for them? I guess, I don't know, I just need this job. You just needed this job. It's yeah, about I mean, much I, more than that. Well, I'm, I'm a part-time student. I need to, and I need a little extra tip money. In okay, honey. Just promise me you won't be a hero. You get in there, you deliver the pizza, and you come back to me with, with your tip. Don't make it harder than it has to be. 
Sometimes they don't tip well. That doesn't mean I can't do what I'm supposed to do. Honey, the customers are tipping for free now. <laughs> <laughs> Just promise me. So, Jeremy, yeah, you ready to talk? Uh, uh, tell us about your uh, your cake in your room. You're not leaving this quarantine area not until you, you give us some answers. Not telling you nothing. Snitches get stitches and ditches. <laughs> Is that what your teacher taught you? Your tutorial tutor? <laughs> That's right, my tutorial tutor taught me to, te to keep my mouth shut. Got quite a mouth on you. And that concludes the geometry lesson for today. And well, we've got five more minutes. I can, I can tutor you in something else. Um, okay. If you ever snitch. <laughs> is the worst thing ever. You will be killed mercilessly by your peers, and you will have no respect, which is even, which is even worse. <sighs> Alright, I made a call to the chief. He's gonna see if he can get you a Hot Pocket or something. Is that good enough? A Hot Pocket? I can't live on Hot Pockets! Well, all we need is you to say what that cake is about. I need a pizza. What are you, what do you think, <laughs> this is a war zone? <laughs> I. You're telling me you want cheese, pepperoni, you want the meat lover special, but you also want some mushrooms on it, is that correct? Just a sprinkle of mushrooms. Where, where are you located? Ah, uh, I'm in the middle of the quarantine building on the center <laughs> of campus. So I'm trained for a lot of things. <laughs> and I want you to know that getting this pizza to you, I mean, my life's not the only one that's on the line. What do, you, what do you mean? You got a driver or something? Uh, well, uh, I don't know why I'm telling you this. You're just ordering a pizza. <laughs> but my wife is pregnant, and I think you should know <laughs> the kind of danger that you're putting my family in. I, oh, man, I, I don't want you to... Kid, are you in. hungry? I'm so hungry, but I don't want you to get contaminated. Your, your unborn child could be affected by, by entering the contamination. Give me that phone! You're gonna bring that pizza to him, goddammit, or else he's not gonna talk! Burn in hell! I'm out! <laughs> I don't know if it's kind of on the ropes if he's gonna bring it or not. Daryl <laughs> <laughs> told me to burn in hell. <laughs> you were pretty harsh with him. You were pretty harsh with me, too. Hold on. 1-800. <laughs> Honey, you can't let your emotions get the best of you. I just don't know what's gonna happen when I pass those Barricades. I mean, if I take a look at another punk authority figure, I might just go Rambo in this place. <laughs> Honey, remember what we talked about. You can't take out your aggression on everybody. Because what we are really taking aggression out is, is on yourself. Be bigger than that. He'll call back. <laughs> Bring. Hello, this is Quarantine Central. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got a pizza. Mr. Domino? Uh, you can call me that. I prefer that code name when I operate. <laughs> All right. Well, we're not going to make it easy for you to get in. <laughs> that's fine. I'm not going to make it easy for this. Well, shoot, actually, that's not fine. But let's go over your your uh, your terms. My terms are 30 minutes or less, so it's free. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, That's I what the commercials say. I know what the commercials say. I work for the company. And there's no fine print about us building barricades in order to block you. <laughs> Just no. I still got them. Honey, this sounds like a setup. Every second I stand here thinking about it, I'm wasting time when I could be out there delivering the pizza. 30 minutes or less? Are you kidding me? Look, it'll You're take... only a man! I'm, I'm more than a man! I'm a pizza delivery guy! <laughs> Slow motion <laughs> montage of him getting through the barriers. <laughs> Boy, oh! <laughs> You're not good enough. <laughs> No! <laughs> 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 <laughs>